in his hand and his feet. If you just remember this and read the scripture and see how they pushed 72 thrones on his head. The Bible said there was no guile, no sin found in him. But he yet died. He didn't die for himself. Because the Bible said he had no sin in his life. But he died. to say that as your own. You were bought with a price. You got to know that your life is not your own. You got to know it. You got to believe it. You got to live it. You got to live it.
while you're standing, I want you to give God a hand pray for the under shepherd of this house. The angel of this house. The sick man of God. The poor man of God. Pastor Andre Young. Amen. And his only lady. The church first lady. Sister Young. Amen. While you're standing, put your hands together for my father. My pastor. My bishop. My overseer. My daddy. Elder Willie Farrell. Pastor of the Royal Church of Christ. Bishop Farrell. Amen. Thank God for all the churches that are represented. Amen. For you, you, and you. Look at somebody say, you're special. Oh, y'all may say it right. Say, you're special. Ah, somebody needed that. You're special. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I pray I don't be long, but I feel a long-winded demon on me. Thank God. I call the demon, but amen. Thank God. I mean, know some folks demonic in your life is they helping you out. I mean, know some of y'all need some heavens people around you. Because if you didn't have one, you would pray like you would. You would fast like you would. You would give like you want to live. Sometimes God got to send things your way just to get what he needs out of your life. So I thank God for them folks, the hellish people, the people that smile in your face and they stab you in the back. Then they ask you, man, you bleed. Yeah, you just stabbed. <laughs> to God be Lord. Thank you, South Valley, for inviting us to come out to this song of assembly. 132 years of sacrifice. To God be the Lord. Ain't nobody do it but God. Huh? Thank God for all your pastors you had. But how many know if it wasn't for Jesus? Huh? If it wasn't for God in this house. Amen. We acknowledge the men and women of God. Amen. Yeah. That have been trailblazers in this ministry. All 30, 132 years. Yeah. The brother came up and said he was here. Did you have that right? You said he was here 55 years? That can't be right. <laughs> that can't be right still. He looked 52. <laughs> To God be in glory. Thank you for inviting us to the Psalm of Assembly. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Let me get protocol out of the way first. My daddy taught me right. Amen. I thank God, amen, for my beautiful wife, the lead lady of Mount Pisgah, for that beautiful yeah. Thank you. To God be in glory. Amen. I thank God yeah. for my pastor already did that. Amen. But I left out his rib. <laughs> Daddy said he the head, but she the neck. Amen. 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 Thank God for my mama. Amen. 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 Amen, but I love you to God be the glory. Amen. There's so much I want to say, but time is very well spent already. Amen. How many came with expectation? That's what I really want to say. How many came expecting to hear a word from God? How many came with your cup empty so God can fill the cup? So God can fill your cup. Because there's a particular feeling that only God can do in the sense. In the, in, in the household of faith. Amen. The Bible says how beautiful it is for brethren to come together and fellowship in what? Unity. Somebody say unity. unity. Amen. You can get a lot from God by yourself, but you can get more from Him when you're around your brothers and sisters. Amen. Huh? More prayer, more power. Right. I ain't never seen a man try to barbecue with one coal. Yeah. One coal. Yeah. One piece of oak wood. You would never get that meat done. You'd be cooking till Christmas. But when we all come together, you ain't got your agenda, you ain't got your agenda, you ain't got your agenda. We all are one accord. And the accord is love. Somebody say love. love. I come to love my brother and my sister. Hey man, I'm moving on. This is my first time here. No, I was here one time before, but I'm, I'm back again. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. Turn with me to John, the first chapter. Come on, give this musician a round of applause. That boy playing that thing, man. Woo, I love that boy. Yes, sir. I'm just trying to get your number, son. You're going to be in trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be pastor, pastor preaching tonight. No, come on, boy. Yes, sir. To God be the glory. 
Amen. Let's go to the book of John. I'm going to skip around a little bit. Amen. I'm not going to be long before you, but I want to be strong. Thank you, Jesus. I want to make sure the word comes forth with power and authority. Yes. Amen. Yes. I truly want you to be blessed by the word. Amen. And while you're being blessed by the word, I want you to share it. Amen. How many of you know when you got good eating, you ought to tell somebody else? Amen. When, when y'all first learned about going to Corral, you couldn't keep that thing to yourself. Amen. You had to get on the telephone. I mean, the telephone, the telephone, whatever you got on. You had to get on your phone and tell somebody, child, it's a new one out here. <laughs> monsters ain't got nothing on this. It's better than monsters. It's better than, what's the other one, Fire Mountain? Hey, man, with the bigger Yeah, I heard yeah. monsters. Ain't nobody say that. You don't know what monsters is. That's not kind of old school. Amen. But when it's good eating, you don't mind telling somebody. Amen. Right, amen. amen, amen. So I pray, amen, you came with an appetite, amen, to hear what does say for the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah yeah. to God. How many brought your Bibles? Amen. 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 Folks don't bring Bibles no more. Right. Amen. They come to church with their cell phone and charge. Come on. And leave the Bible home. Right. And we say, where are you going? To work? No, I'm going to church. You ain't got no Bible? Right. Right. Amen. I understand it's 2020. Yeah. Amen. But you got the phone, but you ain't got the app on your phone. Right. Talking about the Bible app. Right. How you going to have a phone with no Bible? And the Bible app free. Right. You ain't got the Some of y'all folks might be like me. You got a watch that don't work. Okay. Just for fashion. <laughs> Some of y'all got cell phones and you didn't even know. Don't get no flat tire. Don't let that happen to you. <laughs> <In trouble. laughs> I ain't the only one now. Come on now. Amen. Amen. I think this will work though. <laughs> Look on me to St. John. Amen. Don't want to read it all. I'll stop when God tell me to stop. St. John, the first chapter, verse 19. Verse 19. And this is the testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and the Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you? Yeah. Verse 20 declares, he confessed and did not deny, but confess. Right. He confessed. Somebody say confess. Yes. Look at somebody say, when the last time you confessed? When the last time you confessed. What they say? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, it was so long ago, they trying to think back. They can't even remember. How many know you ought to confess every day? Amen. Sins of omission, sins of commission. Amen. The things God told you to do and you didn't do it. Right. And the things you knew you shouldn't have done, but you done it anyway. Uh -huh. That sins of omission and confession. Or omission. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. We ought to learn how to have a spirit of confession. Amen. Amen. And stop trying to be lying on other folk. Amen. 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 Keep being in other folks' business too much. Amen. The Bible said, how is it, amen, the new King James Bird, how is it that you can take the pilot or the plate out your eye? Come on. I was shut up. About I said, how can you take the pilot or the plate out of your brother eye? Right. Come on. Hallelujah. And you got a, and, 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 they, and, and they got a small, amen, splinter in their eye. Mm -hmm. But you got a big old boulder in your eye. Yeah. Look at somebody say, sweep around your own front door. That's for everybody. Amen. That's for the Christians and the non-Christians. It's just the whole, get your own house in order first. Amen. Before you try to come telling me what does say the Lord. Amen. You start being obedient to what God say first. Amen. Can I get a witness on that day? Amen. Amen. Look at 20. Say, he confessed and did not deny, but confess. I am not Christ. And they asked him, what then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Do you know who you are? Yeah. You say, that's a crazy question, Pastor. It's, amen, uh -huh. March of 2020. I know who I am. But do you truly know where you come from? Uh -huh. Do you truly know why you were created? Uh -huh. And who created you? Uh -huh. Look at somebody say, who created you? You know, the reason I say that because some folks act like they created themselves. The way some folks live their life with no regard, huh? I'm talking about Christian folks right now, huh? That'll lie on you at the drop of a hat. That'll talk about the pastor at the drop of a hat. That'll talk about the lead lady at the drop of a hat. That'll talk, 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 to talk, 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 talk. They ain't getting nothing done. A bunch of hard ass. It's like the tater chips nowadays. Ain't nothing but a bunch of hot air. Oh, and you have 25 chips in it. <laughs> they cheated us. Back in the day, the bags used to be full of chips. 
But now you go put the, you open the bag, it's like air condition. Woo. A bunch of hot air. If you paid a dollar for it, you just lost 90 shit. I know what I'm talking about, too. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Say, who are you? People of God, know who you are. Know why you were created. That's right. Know who called you. Know who made you in his image and after his likeness. Yes, you say, well, Pastor, I know that. Well, 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 if you know that, there's some things you shouldn't be a part of. Amen. I say, there's some things as Christians we should not be connected to. Amen. There's some people we should not be connected to. Ain't nowhere in the world if you are a believer, saved, sanctified, filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and your best friend is a sinner. We're going to lunch every day. Oh, we're going, to, we're going on the cruise together. Either you drawing them or they drawing you. The Bible says this. How? Somebody say how. how? Come on, let me preach. Say how. How, how can two walk together? Huh? How can two folks walk together? I'm about to bring it to 2020. A man and a woman. And we'll be on here. I'm talking about a man and a woman. I ain't talking about two men. I ain't talking about. Some of y'all to get that when you go home. I said, what are you talking about? How can two walk together except they are on one accord? And that's one of the things that the enemy wants to continue, amen, to plant in the household of faith in the churches is division. And he stops with the head. I said he started with the head. Start with the head. How many know the head controls everything? Yeah. All right. Okay. I ain't okay. Yeah, okay. I felt some y'all. I ain't talking about the pastor. It could be the head of the deacon board. Yeah. It could be the head of the choir. Right. It could be the head of the music department. Right. It could be the head of the janitor. Right. They always start with a person in a leadership position. Yeah. They got a little power. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, my mom and daddy helped build that church. You see my name on the window? Amen. That's a selfish spirit. Amen. Jesus said that my house should be called the household of prayer for all people. Amen. You just leasing this building. I said, you just leasing this building. And you just leasing this building. Hey, shout to my Amen. I heard him talk about, amen, Pastor Young being an intro pastor. There's no way, and I understand what that means. He hasn't been consecrated yet as a pastor. Amen. But there's no such thing as scripture as an intro pastor. Amen. If you got the heart like David or you don't. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. He, being a pastor, you can't get training on a job. Amen. You got to come in ready. Amen. Huh? You got to come in ready. Amen. When, when um, the prophet, amen, what's his name, Naaman? Yeah. Naaman, amen. When he anointed David, yeah. it wasn't his time. What is time? Huh? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you maybe you're not in the field already, in your pastor. Maybe that's it. But at the fullness of time, David took his rightful place. Why? Because he was ready. Amen. I ain't trying to rain on nobody's parade, but I'm letting you know. Amen. If you call a man or a woman to God to be an overseer, they got the power of Jesus on the inside to lead the people right now. You got to be chosen. Yeah. Many are called, but few are chosen. Yeah. Great time of day. Get off me, long way. Long way to deal with me. They said, Who are you? We need to give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one. Because somebody said, It only take but one. It only take but one. The Bible says this in the Quran, Quran goes, In my people, who are called by my name. Yeah, yeah. That word people meaning somebody got to come to their rightful sense yeah. and begin to call on the name of the Lord. Yeah. If you get right, then somebody else will get right. Yeah. If you stop stealing, yeah, man, maybe your children will stop stealing. Yeah. If you stop cussing and fussing, maybe your children will stop cussing and fussing. Yeah. Amen. If you stop robbing God, ten percent. Woo, I can't handle ten percent. You can't afford not to give ten percent. Yeah. You try to rob God if you want to watch what happens. Huh? You keep coals on your own head. God ain't doing nothing 
nothing to you. The Bible just being fulfilled. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 Leave me alone. I'm trying to get through this. They say, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said. Yes. Verse 24 said, Now then, uh, amen. Now they had been sent from the Pharisee. They asked him, Then why are you baptizing? If you are either the Christ or Elijah or the prophet. They said, What you baptizing for if you ain't the one that we know about? If you ain't the one that we've been reading about in the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible, in the Dead Sea and the Scrolls. Verse 26 says, John answered them, I baptize with what? Water. Say it again. Water. Say it one more time. Y'all need to drink more. Water. We all need to drink more. Water. I'm better than that. Next time you go to the soul pastor, say, I need to drink more water. Put that solar back. Amen. Amen. Put that five-hour energy drink back. Amen. They ain't nothing but a bunch of sugar. I'm better than that. I say, I'm better than that. That's what preachers are supposed to do, man. Who wants to come to the church with everything the pastor say you agree with? Everything the pastor you say, yeah, preach, pastor. You ain't gonna get no growth. Huh? The only time a rose bush can grow is that you got to prune it. You got to cut out the dead things. You got to cut out the thing that's preventing it from growing. So new growth. So I say new growth. So new growth can come forth. So I say water. me 
Spirit, and I did what the Holy Spirit told me to do. Yeah. If you write notes, if you're taking notes, write this down. Obey the voice of God. Yeah. Whatever he tells you to do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care if you give me a job at Baptist ministry. God, you want me to put tracks on them at, at work? Yeah, that's strange. Yeah. You want me to go out and put tracks on cars? Yes. God, you want to go out and wear a Christian t-shirt? Yeah. I don't care how strange it sounds. Hear God and obey his voice. Yeah. Do you not know that God called you to be a disciple? Yeah, that's God right. called us to go out and disciple? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Ooh, not membership, but discipleship. Yeah. 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 Stay on membership a long time. But discipleship, I'm getting there. He said, I came baptizing with water that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness. I saw the spirit descend from heaven like a what? A like a prayer dove. And it remained on him. I myself did not know him. That's the second time he said that. Amen. I used to wonder about that, Pastor Pharaoh. Why he keeps saying he knew Jesus? Why? Because they weren't raised up in the same place. But he had to know they was related. Right. Amen. But the Holy Spirit began to let me know he didn't know him. Amen. On the spiritual side. Right. Amen. He didn't know his call. Because Jesus didn't start his ministry until he was 3-0. 30 years. Right. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Come on, we get there. But he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom he on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain. This is he who baptized with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and have borne witness that this is the Son of God. I have seen and borne witness. I see it. I'm convinced that the man that I saw the Holy Spirit come down and remained on him, this got to be the Son of God. Somebody said, it's got to be. This must be the Son of God. Oh, we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere now. Turn with me to Luke, the seventh chapter. Luke 7 and 16. Hallelujah to God. Amen. If I give you two more scriptures, still be happy. Amen. We probably read our Bibles every day in the house. Huh? At least one time in the morning, one time at night. Amen. What if God say you need to read as much as you eat? Huh? If we can feed our natural man, what about the spiritual man? Amen. I can hear the Holy Ghost saying, now all we starve in our spiritual man. We got to read the word. And once you read the word, lead a fair, number two, you got to hear God's voice and be obedient. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I told the church a long time ago, I said, years ago, and all my kids were standing with me. I said, y'all take out the trash. I'll call one of them, take out the trash. Yeah. Then when I get up, the trash still there. Mm -hmm. They said, y'all heard I said, y'all heard me? They said, yeah, you heard me. But you heard me, but you ain't moved. No, no. Yeah. Bible yeah. said, my sheep hear my voice. Yeah. All right, God. And the stranger, they won't obey. Somebody said, I got to obey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to obey God's voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. And you, and, you, and you know, sooner or later, they got up and took that trash out. Yeah. Amen. Because in the Pharaoh household, we don't play. Y'all got Luke 7 and, 9, yeah. 7 and 16. Yes, all right. And there came a fear on who? Oh. On all. And they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us. Uh -huh. And that God. Throughout all Judea and throughout all the region around the Bible. Yes. And the disciples of John showed him all of these things. Yes. And John, calling unto him two of his disciples, sent them to who? Yes. John was in prison. Yes. John was in prison because he done the right thing. Yes. He told the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. God is telling us as men and women of God, whenever you open your mouth, make sure you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Time out for telling these, amen, fabricated truths. What you made up or what you think it should be. No, what the Bible said. God made Adam and Eve. That's it. Great God of mercy. I went back on that that quick. Huh? Bishop Farrell said, not Adam and Steve. Huh? Not Eve and Emma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Great time of day. And John calling unto him. 
him two of his disciples, sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come? Or what? Look at somebody say, John, what happened? Come on, say, John, what happened? I'm getting ready to close. I'm almost finished already, I think. Didn't we just read that John the Baptist baptized Jesus? And he saw the Spirit coming out from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. And he remembered the scriptures that said, the, the person that the Spirit of God remained on him, he is the sin. John even said this, Behold, I see the one coming on shoe latches, and I ain't even unable, able to unlatch. And then he told him to look, meaning behold, the Lamb of God that taken away the sins of the world. It sounds to me that John was convinced. It sounds to me that John was a believer. It sounds to me that John had evidence and proof that Jesus was the Messiah. The son of the living God. Can I turn the corner on you right quick? You ain't got to turn there. I'm going to just read it. Luke 8 and 12 says this. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then the devil taking away the word out of their heart. These they should believe and be saved. Okay, I'll give you the cliff note version. The Bible said the soil went out to sow seeds. Some fell by the wayside. Some fell on stony ground. Some fell between thorns and thistles. And some fell on good ground. The Bible says that the one that fell by the wayside, they had no foundation. They came to church but didn't know Jesus. They had keys to the church but didn't have a, a prayer life.
But because the seed did not fall on good ground. Yeah. Good ground. Because you didn't make up in your mind and made up in your heart. That for God I live. And for God I die. The enemy came up and crept in. So in this both shots I saw in discord in the body of Christ. Yeah. Bringing havoc and confusion in the body of Christ. Yeah. Let me tell you this what the Holy Ghost told me to tell you. You can't come in this church and shout, amen, and speak in tongue and give offering over mess. Yeah. Over sin. Yeah. You can't come in church and shout around the elephant in the room. Yeah. You can't come in church and have a hundred and thirty two years anniversary, but nobody want to address. Nobody want to address the elephant in the room. Let me tell you something about a leaking house. If you don't know where the leak is, sooner or later, the leak will show you where it is. Huh? And then when water stands for a long time, it brings corruption. How dare we know where the flaws are at in our personal life? And we do nothing about it. When you got the ability, the power to access the power of the Holy Ghost. Paracleti, the one that walks on side of you. He's not aggressive. He said in Revelation, Behold! I stand at the door and I'm knocking. Can y'all heard that? He's knocking. Can you hear that? He's knocking. Sometimes in prayer, you need to shut your mouth. Right now. I say, sometimes when you're in the prayer, don't say nothing. Just be before him. Just lie before him. Just prostrate yourself before him. Not physically, but in your heart. Because God knows what you need. And God knows what you stand in need of. I love prayer. I gave the church five types of prayer. Supplication, praise, and all. But there are times God says you need to come before me and just listen. Hear my voice. Hallelujah to God. Lord, I believe. Now that scripture come out of Mark 9 and 24. You can read that in your spare time. Lord, I believe. But help. Help. I know how long you've been saved. I know how long you've been pastoring. How long you've been a deacon. How long you've been a steward. How long you've been over music. How long you've been over this and that. But can you recognize when you need help? All right now. Can you recognize when I can't do this by myself? Hey, Amen. Back in the day, we had bicycles. They don't have to wear bicycles no more. Well, man, when the bicycle come off the back rail, we'll flip that thing on. Huh? And sometimes you have to loosen the back tight and bring it in and put the chain back on, pull it back out. You have somebody get it with their knees and tighten it. Why? Because you can't go nowhere if the chain is not on the barriers. You can't go nowhere if the front and the back is working hand in hand. I am my brother's keeper. Look at somebody say, I need you. I need you. We're all a part of God's body. Unbelief. Unbelief is the absence of faith. When you don't have faith. And the Bible said a man that don't have faith is a most miserable man. The Bible says without faith, the faith that I gave you, the measure of faith that you're supposed to be building on, your most holy faith. The faith that I gave you, the Bible said, I gave you a mustard seed faith. And how many know a mustard seed is one of the most smallest seeds in the world? But maybe if you do the right thing, put it in the right environment, put it in the right location, and talk to it every now and then. Some of y'all talk to y'all faith in the right now. Put it in the right soil, let it get some sunlight. The smallest seed will bring forth a great harvest. But do you know the significance and the importance of the mustard seed? I'm talking about the faith that God gave you when you heard the word of truth. It's time for us to say, Lord, I do believe, but help. Oh, shut up. I'm closing. Peter was on the boat, and everybody was scared. Everybody got chicken. Amen. But Peter got some boldness in him. 
And he said, Lord, if it's you, he said, bid me to come. First of all, Peter said, I'll see you. Peter recognized Jesus and said, I'll see all on the other side. So Jesus spoke it into existence. But Peter said, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come out. And Peter walked on the water. I ain't talking about that David Copperfield stuff, that mind freak stuff. That stuff ain't real. It's an illusion. Peter walked on the water. Why? Because he had faith. And he put works on his feet. But that's why I said, put works on your feet. Having faith is good, but if you ain't got no works, you D E A D. Dead. Huh? Yeah. You're dead. God told Jesus, told Peter to come. And Peter walked on the water. But things began to happen in his life. Things began to happen. And he began to take his eyes off of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, we got to make sure that we don't take our eyes off of Jesus and put our eyes on the pastor. All right, now. Say that. Say that. You say, how you say that? You're a pastor. I know I'm a pastor. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. I told the church a long time ago, if you ever see me at Tender Outlet with a white girl with long hair, with blue eyes, and I got my arm around her, I done went back. I done did like Michael Jackson. I done went back in the room. Room walk. Don't you follow me? I say, don't you follow me? Follow Christ. You got to follow Christ from earth to glory. Amen. Can I give y'all two scriptures to read tonight? Can, can, can y'all read two scriptures before you go to bed? As you look at Sally Jesse Raphael, and we look at what the coronavirus doing, see what the Bible says. Yay! Come on, Lord, Lord. Second Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. Second Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. Hmm. Yes, Lord. 2 Timothy 3 and 5. 2 Timothy 3 and 5. I was talking every time you come to church, you want to bring something right. Because you never know. God may have a word for you. And he tell you a word, but you don't always remember. Because you're thinking about COVID. You're thinking about this. You're thinking about that. Write it down if you don't remember. 2 Thessalonians 2, 11 and 12. 2 Timothy 3 and 5. One more for the road. Glory to God. John 3, 18 and 19. John 3, 18 and 19. I love to get homework assignments. Amen. I've been out of school a long time. But how many know every night then it's good to have homework? That's right. Well, God just gave you a homework assignment. Amen. Let's see how you're going to do. Let's see if you're going to pass. Glory to God. Good. God is real, saints. Amen. And God is calling us closer. I say he's calling us closer. Help is on the way. Lord, I believe. But help. Everyone standing. Everyone standing. John was in a position where his life was in jeopardy because he spoke against King Herod and said, you can't have your brother's wife. Leave her alone. She's off limits. Not only that, the Bible said he spoke. It said, but John, this Luke 3, 19, but John spoke against Herod, the governor, because of his sin with Herodotus, the wife of Herod's brother, and because of the many other evil things Harold did. That's right. So he didn't just speak just against him having a man's wife. You got some more stuff in your closet. You got some more stuff under your bed. You got some other sins in your life that you think God don't know about. How many know the eyes of the Lord are in every place? The holy the good and the evil. You can't hide from God even if you turn the lights off. Mr. Pharaoh told me God got night vision. He could see in the dark. In fact, he see better in the dark than he do in the light. Why? Because he was born in this. He was born in a lonely mansion. Thank you, God. So what God is speaking expressly to us as a body of baptized believers, what God is speaking to us individually is that you got to recognize when you need help. Lord, I do believe you're going to save my children. I know you're going to save my grandchildren. I know my body is healed. But God, it looked as if sometimes you got to close your eyes like he told Jeremiah. Oh, close your eyes. Don't even look in the face. 
places. Close your eyes and see God. The Bible says we walk by sight, right? We walk by what we see. I think that's what the Bible said. We walk by your eyeballs. The Bible says we walk by faith. You see, I ain't got to see it, but I believe it. I ain't got to feel it, but I got it. I'm healed. My body hurt, but I'm healed. My check account hurt, but I'm a millionaire. You got to speak it. If you don't speak it, don't say it. If you don't believe it, don't say it. Raise your hand all over the building. I'm finished. If you're here today, this is a call for salvation. The Bible says Zacchaeus was a small man in stature, but he heard something. He had an ear to hear that Jesus was coming by. And the Bible said he ran ahead. It was a track stop. He ran ahead and got up a sycamore tree. And when Jesus was passing by, Jesus felt him. I know Jesus can feel him. The Bible said we have a high priest that can be felt with affirmatives. He knows when you're hurting. He knows when you're in pain. He knows when you're in sorrow. Yes, he does. But the Bible told me Jesus wept. Jesus cried. So Zacchaeus was up the tree and Jesus stopped where he was. How many know faith will make Jesus stop with? How many know faith will make Jesus stop in this track? When your faith reaches his heart, Jesus stop and say, man, come out that tree. Salvation come to your house this day. So this is the day of salvation. Tomorrow not promised to you. I got sense to know, to know that everybody come to church ain't saved. Huh? Everybody come to church don't know who Jesus is. So if you're here today, this is a call for a relationship, an encounter. <laughs> Have you had an encounter with Jesus yet? He's here today with arms wide open. We lift you high. Hands open wide as the sky. Lord, we lift you high. If you're here today, you don't know Jesus is a part of your sin. Tomorrow is not promised to you. He's waiting. He's here to receive you as his own. If you're here today and you want to stand in proxy for someone else, you want to stand in intercessory prayer for your brother, for your sister, for your children, and you believe that God will make a way in their life. If you're sick in your body, you don't have to leave the same way you came. The Bible says healing is a children's bread. It belongs to you. You can say the intercessory prayer for someone on tonight. That God will save, deliver, and bring them out. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. I want everyone to say, Lord, even me. Touch now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I spoke your word. Father, I pray, God, that you will continue to let your word go forth, God. And minister to the hearts of your people. Help us, God, not to be just hearers of your word, but help us, God, to apply the word to our lives. Help us to make this word portable. Help us to tell it. Tell the dying world that Jesus yet lives and Jesus is soon to return. Father, give us to know, God, that we are, we do believe. Father, we, God, we do believe you, God. We do understand what the word said concerning our lives. But, Father, just like John the Baptist, we have moments. Where the enemy come in. That's your time. And so this morning. Father, we pray, God, that you'll help us to learn how to ask for help. And you say you'll never leave us, nor forsake us. Father, we thank you and we praise you forevermore. And it's in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Brother. Brother. Like when you buy a can of paint and you don't know the paint, the, paint, the, can, the can ain't got nothing on the outside. You don't know what's on the inside. I don't think you know it's, it, it's paint. Amen. I don't know you, but God knows you. Know you.